He said that October night was going to be easy for him. What do you think about that? What do I think about that? That man is an idiot. <laughs> That's a crank man. He's living in cuckoo land. Tyson will put him in the intensive care unit. And I'm telling you now, Deontay, he's not in the devil's playground now. He's not getting us alive with all them people. So, making your job easier, he's got me now, and we are going to put so much work in to crush you, my friend. It's going to be untrue. So let me tell you, stock up on toilet roll, mix, you're going to need it, because we're training hard, we're training to move mountains, and you're just a bump in the road, my friend. You're getting it, you dosser. You're a bum, and a horrible bum at that. You're getting it, pal. We're putting the work in. This brain, Tyson's brain, when we unite, we're unbeatable. Especially somebody like your one-trick pony with them skinny legs underneath you. He's going to get that hard on the chin. He'll break them two chicken legs with one shot in your chin and you will never box again. Guaranteed that, pal. Take that on board. You better... <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Those are the words of John Fury. John Furious Fury. Because that was a furious statement that he had. Wait, I think he had some more. Wait a minute. John Fury, thank oh, you very much. Yeah, 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 he, was <laughs> he had shot that wide. Anyway. Um, courtesy of IFL TV. Um, John Fury just went left and he said, hey, he's over here with me now. and We're going to put it together with my brain and his brain. We're going to crush you and you're a bump in the road. You're a one-trick pony. You guys heard what he said. Look, <clears throat> I remember John Fury and his prediction about the second fight, the rematch. And a lot of people thought he was crazy, you know, like David Hay and things, people like that, you know, like, well, hey, Wilder, you don't want to do that with Wilder, you know, because David Hay's been in there with Wilder. He knows Wilder's a tough guy. Wilder will take punches from you just to deliver that one punch to get you out of there. <clears throat> and I, I think that was the big concern with everyone. Like, yo, if you get caught with that one shot by Wilder, that's all he needs. And John Fury was like, pay that no mind. He got up from the last two, which he did. But then at the same time, he couldn't stop him, but this time he will. And he did. Tyson Fury did. did. Tyson Fury did everything he said he was going to do, or everything his dad said he was going to do. His dad's prediction was spot on. So this sounds more like a furious person. He, he called Wilder an idiot. <laughs> um, I, I think that <clears throat> if Wilder's... I think Wilder is practicing, and I, I think he's practicing. I think he's training for death, right? I think this is going to be the best fight. I think, without a doubt about it, the third fight between Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder, three, will be the best fight between those three. Not the best fight you can see, but the best fight between these guys and fight three. Bars. <laughs> but, I don't think it'll be as one-sided this time. I think it will be a very good fight. But if John Fury's right, um, I think <clears throat> I think Wilder at that point, if he gets beat again, ran over, drug, and he will be he, he yeah he would probably retire, marry his girlfriend, beautiful Nikki Swift, I think it is, or I forget, <laughs> but uh, she knows who she is. Marry, marry her, have another child, and chill, you know, chill and, and, and let your kids love all over you, like he likes to describe his kids doing in his relationship with his kids. Because people gave, some people that aren't idiots kind of gave him a pass because they see him training. You know what I mean? Some people just dropped Wilder altogether, you know, um... But Wilder saying it's an easy night, uh, I would like to hear Wilder say that. But I think Wilder's like this. I'm through talking. I've sold myself two fights with this guy. I want the next amount of energy that I want to put in is in the ring. So that's my why. But then uh, this is what I don't like, though. 
you want to if you want your energy to be in the ring you're still using energy talking shit about a person you're that just that person's not around if i say anything about if i'm talking about a person it doesn't matter if they're here or away i'm still using my energy and my thought process to think about that particular person the place or thing right so him saying that about, oh, Tyson Fury is going to be an easy night. He could have said that in the press conference. So a lot of people, I know you don't want to hear it, and a lot of Wilder fans uh, <clears throat> are fanaticals or whatever. Wild debts, you don't want to hear that, but that's true. <clears throat> You're still talking about that person. You know what I mean? But <laughs> John Fury did erupt. He went rogue. He sounded angry, you know? Um, and you guys tell me what you think about John Fury's eruption. <laughs> of course, please subscribe and you guys been counterpunched. Peace.